Alright, hi you YouTubers, this is Kenny here on Anti Show. Um, just made it back from Regionals, Charlotte 2014. Uh, I got an 11th place, so didn't top 8, but definitely got my invite. And I'm just going to share with you my um, deck profile, and as you can see I am playing Mermails. So we're just going to go straight into it. Alright, so I play 1 lead. I play 2 Megalo. I play... Triple TS, Triple Pike, Double Turge, Triple Lind, Triple Gundy, Gundy is broke, obviously the One Dragoons, Triple Marksman, um, I only play one D.Va, um, I used to try it. I tried it before and I tried two. Um, I like it at one. It's actually an Aqua Spirit, I believe. Oopsie. <laughs> you know what I meant. Yeah, we get <laughs> Aqua it. Aqua Spirit. <laughs> Alright, um, obviously the Gen X controller and the Gen X Undyne title. And that's the monster count. Be broke if Diva was still good. Um, spells, I play Triple MST in the main. Because you never know what people are playing. You have to be prepared for just about anything. So I think that just makes sense to play Triple MST in the main deck. Um, for traps, I play Triple Abyss here. If you're playing two in, in the US, you're bad. <laughs> um, I am playing a incomplete Hoban build in a sense. I am um, maining the Triple Reckless. Reckless is really good, especially when you draw into two. Or if you even draw to three and you resolve all three, it's almost like you should win, definitely. And if not, it's because your opponent had the broke. <laughs> um, two Phoenix Chain. <laughs> Double Regeki Break. Best combo with Gundy. It's if it only worked if it worked with like Marksman and like that <laughs> this deck would be <laughs> Let me just stop. <laughs> Warning bottomless and torrential meaning the bottomless it actually won me um, one of the rounds uh, at the regional today against well, people that was trying to stall with red ox because you know 3,000 defense everybody wants to do that all right um for extra deck we have ghost Galo card um nightmare shark I did go into him once. It was pretty cool to be able to attack directly. Um, I don't think he's like extremely necessary though. He can be replaced with something else, like maybe Mechwick Engineer to prevent like OTKs or to just make safe plays. But he's not like the brokest card or rank three for the deck. Um, I play one trait. I think I'll run trait's all you need. Um, two is good too. Um, in fact, maybe night another try over Nightmare Shark, but I only play one because sometimes you don't get to resolve um, the Bahama Shark's effect twice unless you know your, your opponent's like losing. Obviously, the Bahama Shark. Um, Dweller. Dweller is really good. I only may I only have one. I should play two because Dweller does everything right now. He's super good. One crazy box. Reason being, to be honest, the skill drain. When Patrick, Patrick Hope made sense about this card with skill drain, it's a 3,000, you know, beater, so it's a good card. Um, now, I do play Maze Stroke, and I found out that this works really good um, when you're, like, trying to grind with Bujins and just target, like, you summon it in defense mode, and you just detach, and then they, like, you know, turtle it. It's just, you, it baits out so much stuff. As far as that deck. Um, well, I didn't play Diamond Dower in the deck, but I did have Lavala Chain. So, I only went Lavala Chain once. I really don't, I think Diamond Dower would be better than Lavala Chain in this deck. I really wouldn't play the Lavala Chain like that. Then, the Broke XCs, you gotta have your Honors. And, you gotta have your Knights. Your Honor Knights, they're like, the Dynamic Duel. Super good. And then for the Sevens, the Drago Sack. The big guy, the Gaios. And since I am playing the Gen X Undyne and controller, we got our two synchros here. 
And then finally, our, my side, DD Crow. Double Veiler. Spell books, great spell books. Triple Maxi, because, you know, Mirror Match and Dragons are, well, you know, something. Didn't go up against any Gigas, though, so I'm kind of glad. But, um, yeah. <laughs> One Dark Hole. Double Divine Wrath. Dumb. Dip your mottos, I'm telling you, on the end phase, when you're when they say end phase and you activate this and you know it's your turn, because obviously after the end phase comes your turn, or your opponent's end phase, it's it's good. Iron Wall, because you know, I'm trying trying to protect myself against like the D Fissure or even Macrocosmos because you know people still play that. DNA surgeries, Bujin, spell books, you name it, even um the um, the gear gears with the synchro TK build, and then I decided to Wabaku, and I never like really went like never decided this in, and it really didn't do anything. To be honest, for this card sided, I was um I net decked this uh, this card for side more for the um because of the Patrick Hoban you know the OTK so it kind of made sense to, for two sided, but other than that, that's basically my deck profile. So comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you.